Back in early March, some three weeks ago, our organization really did a pretty strong pivot. Um, and so we pivoted to our COVID-19 response planning. It's not if, it's when. We think it's coming. Concord Hospital currently has one COVID-19 patient in ICU. Three more are recovering at home. Today, 21 patients await test results. They are considered likely. Are you getting crushed with requests to, to test? We are, um, you know, the, it's a dilemma because as you know, we do not have enough testing capability to do optimal testing. This is an emergency care pathway. Respiratory patients start in the tent. They'll be evaluated and uh, screened and then determine sort of where they need to go. They could go to the ER, they could be reassured and go home, they could be evaluated and have testing. Telemedicine is up and running. Get seen from home. Visitors are now banned from the hospital with a couple exceptions. Every entrance is manned with screeners. We're all uncertain about what the next one, two, three weeks bring, but we are as prepared as we possibly can be, and I'm really proud of uh, everybody at Concord Hospital for the work they've done. Officials here at Concord Hospital do have a wish list for donated supplies. On that list include those N95 masks, new digital thermometers, nod leg text gloves, half face respirators, and pop up tents. Donations can be dropped off at the visitor's entrance between 5.30 a.m. and 8 o'clock p.m. In Concord, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.